Hello everybody, Eagle Firefly Gaming here, hope you're all doing well, and today we're going to look at the Legion in a blingy fit mode. See you in a moment. So hello there everybody, so here's the Legion, uh, trying to continue the Legion series, but first I want to just cover off a, a couple of things. First thing is this, 1,053 subscribers. I would like to thank everybody in the EVE community to follow, for following me. Uh, you've seen the last video, uh, the DCS video, uh, that was a cinematic that I made that I've been working on for a long time. So that's quite a good video if you want to check it out. Okay, so here is the Legion. Now this Legion was donated by my good friend Zach. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, you want to check out his youtube channel i'll link it in the description below uh, this was gifted uh, so that we could make a video on a bling legion uh, which is pretty cool to be honest it is approximately well 2.8 billion for the fit which is really good so we're going to do some testing with this uh, there's a few caveats that we've come across with this so it is uh 503 dps with scorch and we're just gonna load in a short range com flag there we go. So it's 810 DPS, which is quite low DPS for uh, a 3 billion ship. Uh, but I haven't tried... This is with the True Sancha Heavy Pulse Lasers, which you do get better tracking with. Uh, but you can also use the T2 ammo in. Now, I'm not all experienced with these lasers, so you have to bear with me on that. Now, the good thing about this is obviously it's got high damage output. Uh, because when you well we're, go, we're running level threes at the moment uh, to get the standing up and it just absolutely chews through through them uh, but we'll just go through in a minute into a mission and just see uh, another thing which is pretty cool so we now have uh, a full high grade crystal set so if we looked at the Teng tengu video and you look at these side by side so i think in the last video did we use hydras um so this is showing off uh, the crystal set so we're going to try and do a bit of an implant theme uh, across. So this is the Legion with crystal with the crystal set. The Tengu was with, uh, I think it was a Hydra set, can't remember. So with the high-grade crystals, you get a big boost. So obviously you get your usual, um, you know, your training bonuses. Um, but you get tank with the high-grade crystal alpha. So there, as you can see there. Now somebody showed me something. I think it was control, uh, I can't remember, yes, yeah, shift. Okay, so I didn't know this, but if you hover over the eye and then press shift, it opens a new window. So we've already got that one open, so we're going to go shift that. And we're just going to have a look at the full implant set. Okay, now, if you're pretty new to implants, this is a bit of a, a crash course on it. These, these type of implants. So with the high grade crystal set, this is going to give us a, a tank boost. Okay. So as you can see here, this is going to get us a shield boost amount. Um, now, with the large shield booster fit, you can pretty much uh, face tank a level 4 uh, cap stable on a Tengu. Now, the problem you've got with a Legion is, as you can see, we're not cap stable. Now, it's a very similar fit to the Tengu, uh, but it's not the same. But in this, you are gonna manage going to manage your capacitor better. So you're at a disadvantage because number one, you're using lasers across the top, which use um, cap capacitor, and also you've got all your uh, multi spectrum shield hardener, and then you've got obviously your AB, which you're using a shiny one, so it's gonna use less capacitor. But also you've got your shield booster. Now, the beauty of having these implants is. So, I'll just go back to that window for a minute. Oops. Low SP character. Okay. So, the beauty of having a large shield booster is that you get a big shield boost for a start. Um, but as you can see here, it's 568 repair hit points. Okay. Now, your if you bear in mind that your shield is 2,185 hit points, say. So, you're going to be repairing a quarter of your shield per cycle. Okay, now your resistances are fairly decent. Uh, they're a bit low, to be honest, on the EM side. 
So not great against drones and things like that. Uh, Sancha, which is going to hurt a little bit. But with this crystal set, so what we've got here is, is the primary effect is obviously your learning bonuses, but your secondary effects are your shield boost amount. So you see here, 2%, 1%, 5%, 4%. So, with the full set, you're going to get a 15% bonus to all, the set, or to all of the secondary implant effects. So, you're going to be looking around about a 10, maybe 10, 11% shield boost amount. Okay, now the beauty of it is what makes this set complete is the Omega implant. Okay, so with the Omega implant, so we've got all the implants plus the Omega implant, you're going to get a 50% bonus to strength to all of your crystal implant bonus secondary effects. Okay. So you've got your 11%, but then you're going to get a 50% another boost of that. So you're going to be looking at a 16% boost. Now, you may say, well, it's only a 16% boost. However, when you're running such a tight fit, 16% is going to be the difference between uh, 100 hit point re repair and not. So it could, if things go really bad, you might get a little bit more HP to get you out. So there is, there is a big difference there. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is a very, very expensive fit for your pod. But if you look at it in the long term, okay, in this we're running a legion, okay? So this is going to bring your legion up to pretty much as high a level as you're going to get uh, on, on this kind of fit. But obviously we've got all the other bits and bobs, medium energy turret, hull upgrades. Now the hull upgrades, uh, that gives you an armor hit point bonus probably. There's the only thing I could fit in there at the time. Uh, so we've got full slots. So the rest is all gunnery stuff. Um, but if you think about the long-term investment here, so if, if you decide that you want to move on from a Legion and you want to go on to another shield booster fit, then this pod will transfer into your Marauder, you know, or your larger ship, or even, I don't know, your, your shield-tanked Dreadnought. Or something like that, you know, or your battleship, or your my navy pock. Uh, the navy pock, I think the navy pock that we run is a shield fit. I can't remember. It might be armor fit. Don't have it to hand. But any doctrine that you're going to use in low sec, this is sort of low sec specific doctrine that you're going to use in low sec. This is highly beneficial. Um, you're not going to lose a pod in low sec if you pilot well. Okay, um, we're going to cover that later on. Um, this is a bit more of a PV, PVE guide at the minute, um, just to show you uh, the strengths and weaknesses of this. Um, so you're not going to lose a pod in low sec if you pilot well. Okay, so you're not going to be, unless you're super space rich, which I'm not, you're not going to be throwing a 3 billion-esque legion around low sec. You're just not going to do it unless, you, unless you've got, I don't know, 15 billion-esque in the bank or whatever. Um, so... If you're going to fly something, I don't know, say uh, a medium turret cruiser, for example, um, just a Tech 1 cruiser or even a Navy cruiser, um, your tank is going to be massively affected by this because the, these implants, you're going to get such a big boost from that. You're going to get that higher advantage with this. I'm not saying this is an opt optimal implant set. I'm not. Um, but you are going to get a boost. Now, with regards to uh, you're going to lose a pod, the best thing to do is is once you're in structure, find a celestial and you start spamming warp. Um, the next server tick, second tick, you're going to warp away. Uh, as long as you obviously align and warp to the right place, you're going to do fine. So actually running a, this kind of pod in low sec is okay, um, as long as you don't do dumb things like, you know, jump with a gate with a pod. Or something like that. So you need to find a safe or, you know, if you're in a pod, you've just got podded and you, you, you're going through a gate camp, you know, you've got to make sure that you're safe. So, you know, it's the usual bits and bobs. Always fly in a system where you've got a citadel that you can you can dock at. Things like that. You know, those little things, they make a massive difference to your long-term is balances. Um, be a little bit risk-averse. Um, so, you know, you're going to get some good bonuses from this so it is worth the investment as long as you know how to pilot well if you don't know how to pilot well and escape then it's not for you that's basically it and that applies to high sec and low sec okay so i'll probably go and get ganked now knowing me um but there we go so we're just going to run this level three quickly um so we're just going to undock uh, we have accepted it now 
this is where I'm going to show you the weaknesses of the Legion, hopefully. Um, so we'll just go and we'll warp to the location. Close that. So Xmas is Eagle's Xmas gift. It was very nice of him, to be fair. Uh, I got a few other bits and bobs as well. So we had a couple of donations over Christmas. Um, so it's a little bit of a, a snippet of what's coming up. I've seen the Doctor Who uh, announcement, actually, at first. I was a bit, wasn't too sure. Um, but I, I've let it soak in. And you know what? You've got to give it to CCP. They have had some real guts to bring out something like that because it's completely different from what's what's normal now some people have been on reddit um, i've been on reddit myself um youtube been everywhere having a look around and there is some comments on there which is fair enough um, but give them a break you know um they're trying something new they want to bring uh, new players into the game which is also fine um so they want to try new things and let them try new things because if they try new things it means that we get new more players into the game we get newer players into the game and so on okay so here we're just going to do this quickly so just a couple of quick explanations so what we don't want here is frigates to come in and get under our guns um, because they will now the problem you're going to have um, especially in a level 4, I've noticed. So we're just going to chew through these, no problem. And this is just with Scorch. So the problem we're going to have is that if... Well, not if, they do. Because um, I've done it even at level 3. Um, the frigates get under your guns and web you. Um, that's pretty much uh, over. Not over as in you're going to die. They're never going to break your tank. But the problem you've got is, is if you're scrammed and webbed, you can't accelerate away to um, escape the scram you can't do anything um, until you get a good hit and I've tried manual piloting I've tried all sorts and it's very difficult uh, to get away um, the actual only way to do it is to escape the room and come back in and then redo the uh, basically redo the warping uh, and start again well not start again but um, do redo the warping and then kill the frigates at range um, that is literally the only way that you can do it um, I tried all sorts and I was down to uh, 10 meters per second uh, and I wasn't going anywhere so as you can see we can sig tank a lot of this now it is only a level 3 um, but it do, it, it is it do, they do pack a fair punch, so it, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure. I always check my uh, my D scan. Let me just double check, make sure I've got everything. Uh, I always check my D scan even when I'm in high sec because you never know when they, there's a gate cam knocking around. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate now uh, the shield repair. So one cycle and then two cycles, and then it's repaired, fully repaired. So as you can see there, if we manage the cap, we can still keep this cap stable, because I've not even used a quarter of a cap yet, and I've been uh, bombing around basically, so there's no, no issues with cap whatsoever. So it is a nice fit. Um, there's a little bit of micromanagement that you've got to do. Um, we're no by no means finished this, I don't think. Uh, what was the objective? So it's the drone. Oh, is it the drone? You need the special delivery in your cargo hold. Let's have a look. Didn't even read the mission. Terrible of me. Uh, the following objective must be completed. Destroy the lesser drone hive. How do we find that? So, not there. Need a tab that says all. Nope. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to click loot. So I'm using a new, um, basically a new overview setting um, because I've started flying with um, TDF and I haven't flown with TDF before. So they have their own um, bits and bobs that you need to, to use. So we need to find the lesser drone hive. 
Arcus. Not that. Is it this? I don't think it's that. Let's get rid of these. I haven't done this mission for a while. So, maybe it is that. Let's see. That's the particle accelerator. We need to find the drone hive. The neon. There it is. Lesser drone hive. Didn't see it then for a second. Can't even see if we're looking. Let's not do that. Uh, let's go to Conflag and then we'll get rid of that. See, here we go. There. Did you see that then? So, even though that cruiser's under our guns, we can't track them. So, that is basically uh, okay um an example of what can happen but with the frigates so i was gonna going to try um the winter sites with this fit and it would probably chew through a lot of it very very easily um, but the problem is is that those frigates are going to cause an issue and eventually you would get them uh, but it, it, something's going to come in, it's going to get you in no time, it's going to beat you to the site in no time. Um, and would you out DPS um, something shiny that came in? Probably not. I'm still a bit sore from my Praxis loss, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. So, what's going to come up soon is, let me know in the comments below if you want to see it. Um, but, people were asking me how to get, get into incursions. Uh, as a new player uh, I'm happy to do a guide for that if somebody wants to see it um, there's a there's a little bit to it there's not too much um, you've basically just got to follow uh, what the uh, I can't remember where the uh, where are we that one I don't know where I am now expecting a lot of catalyst to turn up um, yeah so there's a little bit to it um, I fly with two two fleets uh, TDF and warp to me uh, I've only recently started flying with TDF but TDF are more I would say for me um, it's a bit more of an advanced fleet with shinier stuff um, warp to me also shiny um, I'm not too sure which one's more new bro, friend, new bro friendly. I think they're both pretty much the same. Uh, they both have different doctrines. So TDF is an armor doctrine and Warp to Me is more shield based. So uh, I'll do guides on them both. Uh, give them both the same love. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll quickly just go, go through the fit. Uh, we ran that quite quickly for level three. We didn't, didn't even feel any pain from it. So um, let's just accept it. So we can get our... Uh, Standings up for the level fours. We're almost there, so we, we, we don't need that much now. It wasn't great, Isk, but there we go. So, um, we've got the True Sancha Heavy Pulse Lasers in the top there. All shiny up there. Uh, we've got Pythom A-Type, Multi-Spec Hardener, A-Type Afterburner, Republic Fleet Large Cat Battery. I'm tempted to swap that out for a Thucker Cat Battery. Um, I like the Thucker Cat Battery. Um, it seems to have a little bit more of an edge. Uh, and then obviously we've got the X-Type Large Shield Booster. Down in the lows we've got four rack of Imperial Navy heat sinks, and then we've got two Republic Fleet Tracking Enhancers. So even with the Tracking Enhancers, we still struggle to hit the frigates. We can hit the frigates from range, uh, so anything up to around about, I would say, 12 kilometers is fine. Uh, once they start coming in under 12 kilometers, you've had it. So the primary is always going to be your frigates with this. Um, I would use EVE Survival. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever used EVE Survival, uh, so I'll just drag that across now. Um, something that I use quite often, if it's still and it is. So this is EVE Survival. Um, this is, always has been actually, from very early days, um, my Bible. Uh, I go by this. So if you get a mission, so I'll just use an example now. So we'll go level three, uh, request mission. So unauthorized military presence. So if you go to here and type in on this is where i show off my true spelling and typing skills with my one finger typing right let's try that hopefully it comes up okay oh, there we go so it's with uh against uh garistas so gu so you find the name of the mission 
So they're unauthorized military presence three and GU for Garistas. So it gives you the mission name. Uh, heavy jamming can no longer be confirmed. So obviously there's little tips in here. Um, it tells you what the type of site is, the recommended damage dealing, kinetic thermal, kinetic thermal. We know that because it's Garistas against Garistas. Um, so Garistas are naturally tanked by... Um, sorry, their natural weakness is kinetic and thermal damage. So that's why they recommend that. The type of ship doesn't even recommend a, a Tengu in this because it can be done in... In a smaller ship, it's very rare that you would do a Tengu, but you can speed run them. Then it gives you the pockets. So obviously it tells this is the thing we've got to worry about, you see. So you warp in, single group, 20, 30 kilometers, four times frigates. You have to work out in your head, can you kill those frigates in 20, 30 kilometers time? Now if they said if they said warp scramble or warp disruptor at this range, that'd be a no from me. That'd be a mission decline. And then we'll go on to the next one uh, because you're just going to lose your ship. You're not going to get out. If it's web and scram, you've had it. If it's just scram, you, you'll you be able to pull away. You'll, be, you'll burn away from the frigates. But if it's web and scram, you've got absolutely no chance. Uh, and then obviously it goes down and explains things. At the bottom, it tells you how to blitz. Oops. We'll get that back, shall we? At the bottom, it'll tell you how to blitz. So it'll tell you which groups to kill um, in each section. So if you see here, group three, group four, group five, so it tells you which groups to, to kill, uh, and away you go. What potential standing losses you're going to get? So if you like you, to keep your standings or you're quite on the edge of what standings you're going to lose and so you don't want to lose access to various parts of space, uh, then you need to take that into consideration. All right. So that's pretty much it. So that's the Legion uh, with the implants. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's given you a little bit of an insight. Um, the pod for this is, I don't even know, it's probably about 4 billion maybe, 3 or 4 billion, um, and also the fits 3 billion. So this is just per, this is solely for testing. This is just to give you a bit of an insight into implants, um, an insight into a shiny fit so you can make um, your own decisions on, on how you want to fly. So... I'd like you to take away um, some positives from it. So if you're interested in implants, um, hopefully this has given you a bit of a what differences you can get from implants. Uh, it is quite big um, in uh, a fight that matters, you know, a fight that you're on the edge with. Um, it's going to mean the difference between losing your ship or not. That's the difference that implants can make. And obviously in the future videos when you see when i get better at low sec fighting which i'm losing a lot of stuff at the minute i'm not gonna lie um i haven't been too active over christmas and new year over the holiday period um but as i get better at pvp you'll be able to see that edge and i could be able to show you um it is starting to make a difference to me now so i can see have another pod which is an armor based pod um so i do like to to fly these shiny pods because it, it does give you that edge can't always afford to fly them um, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, we have had some gifts over Christmas, like I was saying earlier. Um, we have got um, some Tengus uh, to go out and do some poo, -poo with, uh, which we're going to do uh, with Zach, hopefully, soon, uh, time allowing. Um, so keep an eye out for those. But do check out Zach's videos because he's got some awesome content coming up. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as always, uh, I appreciate the support from everybody, and it's great to speak to you. We've had some Discord upgrades. So uh, one of two of our kind uh, community members have boosted the server and we've got it up to level three, which is pretty damn awesome. So we've got animated logos, we've got animated banners, we've got custom emojis, we've got custom stickers, we've got all that cool stuff coming out. So a little bit gimmicky, but it's really cool. So come and join us um, and check those out. All right, so thank you for watching and I shall see you soon.